must have been, oh God, 1968, 12 years old. Well, I'd just like to welcome everybody uh, here tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming. It is great to see a totally packed out house. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> this is our final night, um, and we are uh, in our final show, our final night, and we are so, so thankful for the community of Galena. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this at the end of the show, but I just want to start out first by thanking you guys because um, I have never performed uh, and presented to a more um, just supportive, forgiving, um, excited audience. So we thank you because you have been the reason that this has worked. Um, your donations, your help, your don't. Uh, your donations of props and different uh, things that we were missing have been so helpful and just your laughs and your smiling faces and just filling filling up this auditorium every semester um, it brings great joy to us it really sucks to perform for 10 people but we get to perform for like 200 people every single night so exciting. Here. 
that's for sure. We don't need any girls here. Show yourself to the door. Show yourself to the door. We don't need any girls here. We don't need you here, that's for sure. We don't need any girls here. Show yourself to the door. Show yourself to the door. Oh, we don't need your style up in here. Oh, we're all occupied up in here. You think that walking around in the sea of Houston will get you somewhere? You think you can pick up the job just by pulling your hair? Well, honey, I gotta tell you, we work real hard for these jobs, but we don't take high to outsiders. Still find yourself another town to batch your eyelashes in, because New York's feeling a little crowded.
but I heard she's from Georgia, probably a bit late. I hope not. What? Fiona? What's the matter with you? You look just awful. I'll bet she didn't get the job. That you now has got a real stick. Now, English. What's that for a Did they hire you? Aye. Well, then what's all this blubbering for? You've got snot tears all over this room. Well, I got the job, but I have to dress as, as my brother. The one you lost in Ellis Island? I'm not sure I understand. Well, she said she wasn't going to hire any more girls, and I don't know, I just got real smart, and I guess my head just ran away with me, and I just kept thinking how I'd feel if I didn't get the job, and all of a sudden I heard myself say that I dressed as a boy, and here I am, and I ain't got nothing to wear, and I started afraid. I still don't understand. I don't think that matters much at this point, you know. That dish has got to be a proper wound by Friday morning, we've got to help her. Well, I guess you're right. So stop your sobbing, Fiona. We're going to help make you the handsomest boy that ever was, and all the ladies will be falling all over themselves for you. Though, you're not much to look at right now. It's going to be fine. Why, if this works out, maybe someday you could be the mayor, or the governor, or even the president of the United States. Don't get carried away, Aylish. Well, I don't know the first thing about being a boy. It's easy. Just think about Finn, how he walks and talks and all that. Just lower your voice a bit. <clears throat> like this. <laughs>
say so. Never could grow a beard. <laughs> no kidding? What are you, a girl? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking nice to sell, sir. Special occasion. My partner's bringing his daughter to lunch, Olivia Rossi. I've been in love with her since we were kids, but she won't give me the time of day. Can you help me with this? So you're gonna try to woo her by wearing a new necktie? And... Mm, too flashy? Uh, I think your secret message might go a little unnoticed. Oh, well, what do you suggest? New pads? You might try talking to her. Sir. Oh, no! That's too risky! She makes me so nervous! Well, you practice! <laughs> Pretend I'm Olivia. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, Olivia. You're a good-looking broad. I've never spoken to a woman in your life, sir. What a bunch of earth was that? Oh, and you think you can do better? I'm sure I could. So could you. She's no different from any of us. All those girls downstairs. I just get so flustered. She's so darn pretty and she smells good all the time. Well, then tell her that. I don't know how. Sit it off. Take my hand. Say, my darling Olivia, you're as kind as Satan as pretty as spring day. I've loved you for as long as I can remember back. I just want to hold you in my arms because you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. That's how it's done. That was real good. You're quite the lady killer, Colin. Not really, sir. Just know a few things about women. I don't know. I just get all choked up in person. Maybe I can write to her. I just sweat it straight to the shirt, so lunch is definitely off. Well, a letter would be worlds better than that god awful physical line about her being a good looking girl. Can you help me? I'm afraid my writing's not that good either. As long as you're keeping my wages, I'll write as many as you want. All right. Oh. Okay. Hi, Olivia. Dearest Olivia. Dearest Olivia. Your hair is brown like dirt. <laughs> I'll do the right, sir. You're hopeless. <laughs> Children, you see, so there's no pulling the wool over my eyes where he's concerned. 
He's always been mad about me, but I felt no real attraction there. Handsome he is, and rich. But there's some kind of poetic streak that's simply lost on Italians. They always refer to women as broads and dames. A bit vulgar for my case. I mean, oh, he's <laughs> nice enough, but he's always been one meatball short of spaghetti dinner, if you catch my drift. <laughs> oh, anyway, tell me about yourself. You have a sort of mm, poetic softness, as you spent part of your life to starve bohemian or some such thing. Do you draw? Oops. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't. <laughs> Disappointing, but not a deal breaker. <laughs> I should be going. I've got to go. Oh, well then. Helga, come show Mr. Cullen out. Helga! Terribly sorry, she's ever so slow. Helga! Don't make me yell in front of Mr. Cullen! Helga! <laughs> Goody! He found a way back from the kitchen. Have a smash in the Mr. Cullen. I hope to see you very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you're gonna get away with this. I know your secret. That's right. Be afraid. Be very afraid. All right. You're in love with Miss Olivia. Well, guess what? She's spoken for. <laughs> Call me red-handed. You'll never be mad enough for her. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, I gotta be going. <laughs> <laughs> Then it's like taking candy from a baby. Did I see it? Nope. Well, they were chasing us, so maybe they did. Doyle, I love you like my own brother, but you're a real bonehead. Thanks, Finn. Not a compliment. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
something, Cullen. You really think so? You're swell. Well, I bet you can get any girl you want. Well, sir, I can say about you. I mean, you're rich and handsome and you're a jerk guy. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia's a real lucky girl. I should be going. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what are you looking at? Not quite sure. Didn't take you for a cry? <laughs> Is that so? What's in a lip? You and I ain't friends. We may not be friends, but we can both keep a secret. This old cop is not going away. Does Murray know? No, he ain't gonna. Well, I don't need his pity. I'm knocking myself out of this place. And all he cares about is his dance with Miss Olivia Fancy Face. I swear, Colin, if you see anything, I'll kill you. I don't need anyone fussing over me. <laughs> you should tell him about how you feel for him. What about your story about me just wanting all this money and all that? Maybe the greediest, meanest old broad I've ever met, but I can tell you, love him for real. He needs to know. Ain't you got something better to do than sit out here and get on my nerves? I suppose I do. Don't be a fool. Tell him. Finn! Oh, I got it. You, me, tomorrow. Believe yourselves. We go together and you give me more support. Coach me. Uh, excuse me. What's the matter with her? Uh, headache. Uh, Mr. Murphy. Well, please, you've got to help me. I can't do this alone. All right, sir. <laughs> Goodness, a false end. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Well, Mr. 
calling me a pet? Oh, great! I'll see you then. I'll see you. <laughs>
Should you tell him? Could you tell him? What does he know? I, uh, what is it you think I did then? 
That's not how this works, Mr. Boyle. Yeah, that's not how this works. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just tell us about it? Okay, well, you see, <laughs> life's been hard to me, so very hard to me. My dearest parents never did me any vegetable to me. I had no choice, you see, so I turned out to be just a lion stealing cheese, baby little old me. <laughs>
I'm Andy. I am but a humble milkman. For the love of your life. Well, I'll bring it over then. Take a seat. What have you man, my darling? Oh, I can't stand it anymore. Sorry, Mr. Moretti. If you'll make fun to tell them who you are. So, if you're Finn, then who are you? I'm Fiona. So, this whole time, I've been in love with Fiona? Yes. I'm yes. Fiona! What? <laughs>
Central Theater because this is much more than just us that are up here tonight. Um, and so we'd like to uh, ask you if you have done anything for musical theater over the past three years, whether it be helping painting sets, uh, donating a prop, or actually acting in any of our shows. Would you stand right now? It's the white one. Among the many other instruments that you play, 
as a teacher, as a role model, and as just a really, really cool human being. That's a rare combination of gifts. From the bottom of all of our hearts, we want to thank you for sharing yourself, your gifts with us, with the students with whom you've directly worked to grow in the process and have shown them what they're capable of, to all those students and adults with whom you've come into contact and have and made their lives better because of it, and also to all of us in Galena and many visitors who have been able to sit in an audience like this and enjoy a performance of this caliber. Natalie, we're lucky to have had the time we've had with you as you travel next year throughout all the world, wherever you're going. I know it's all over the place. We're grateful for what you've done for us here. The experiences you have created are ones that remain for a lifetime. We love you, we thank you, and we miss you. Natalie Oliver. <laughs> District Board Member Ms. Jane Glanzer. I don't have a speech. <laughs> but um, on behalf of uh, the Galena City School Board and Superintendent, we just want to thank you for what you've given our students. Some wonderful years of uh, creativity and community that has just poured out into the community. Mommy. And uh, for a little lady, you leave some pretty big footprints. <laughs> so, um, Coming for the carry. 
warmed up and it's nice and low. Okay? <laughs> For those of us who like to sit low, you've got the high side. Okay? Very, very beautiful. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. Until yesterday. And she brought it over in wrapping paper. Oh, my shirt. Hold the stool in. Hold the stool in. Don't close. Like an door. Okay, hold the stool in. Like a door. 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 Like a <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do now. Here's what we're going to do. We practice blending. Think of that feeling, us all singing as one like that on these songs, even though they're way crazier than that. Now listen, this is our last show ever. So I love you guys very, very much. Leave it all on the stage. Do not wish that you had done something, okay? This is the show that is going to be recorded. This is the show that we'll live in. This is as far as anybody will know, this is what happened. This is the whole thing. This is it. So, please leave it all on stage. Do a great job tonight. I believe in you guys. I'm so proud of you. Shut up, you guys. Shut up. Okay. I'm trying to give you a pep talk here. It could turn into an actual pep talk. Okay. Please focus, do an excellent job, use your talents and your gifts with excellence. They were not just given to you, they were given to you to share and be beneficial to other people. So use tonight to make people laugh, to brighten up somebody's day, to help uh, bring the community together, whatever it is that you're thinking about. Remember that this show is not just about you, this is about Belina, and we're so thankful for them. They support us, and they are the reason that we're able to what? The truffles. The truffles. They're the yeah. reason you're so <laughs> But seriously, we owe them a lot of thanks because they have come and been like the best audience you could ever ask for. I've never performed for a more forgiving, kind, thankful audience. Seriously, like they're the best. So we're going to thank them tonight. And um, at the end, what's going to happen is after we do our bows, we're just going to stay there. Um, they're already close to uh, no, we'll wait to close the curtain, and we'll wait to, we'll probably wait to do the trick you out later. And what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to get up, and I'm going to thank some people, and I'm going to ask all the people that have ever helped with musical theater to stand up, and then we will give them applause. And then what I want you guys to do is, um, I'm trying to think of how we would like to do this. I'd like to do something, oh, I'm just crying. What I'd like to do is I would like you guys to come out and thank the audience while they're still seated. So I think what I'd like to do is maybe you guys could come pop off the stage and come and like help bring people up. So people that you can stand up that you know like that aren't gonna like they're not gonna want to be acknowledged. I want you to go seek them out and bring them up on stage with us, okay? Can we do that? Can just you know? anyone that's ever helped, like anyone? Anybody, it doesn't matter. Even if they just like helped paint like one little section of the backdrop, that's okay. Yeah. yeah, yep, your mom has helped a lot. Um, your sister, yeah, lots of people have helped. So anybody that has ever helped with musical theater, we want to get like a picture with everybody because it's a big program. It's not just like, it's not just you guys, it's like a whole bunch of people. It takes okay? a village. <gasps> it does, it does, okay? So do we all understand what we're doing? Yes. yes. Somebody else tell me what we're we doing. About uh, after the bows, after the big bows, we all do with the the, the, group, the hands of the bows. What are we then, doing? Then we're thinking. Yes. And I'm then we're thinking. going out and getting people who wouldn't. Come. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um and uh yeah. Anyway, just clap for everybody. Um, do you guys have any people that you would like to specifically thank? That, that you can think of I know. I was just about to say. Okay. Hey. Okay, yep. Hey. Hey. I'm, what I'm looking for is like somebody that you feel like personally connected with that you want to be the one to like. I can go through and say everybody, but I'm going to forget some people. So, yeah. Natalie! Yeah. Thank you. Okay, but I mean like not other me. people. Like, uh, not me. Uh, no, but um, other people. What should I just say? Um, yes? Can we say the Yes, you can say hippopotamus tonight. Okay, say hippopotamus tonight. Yeah, I'll be done. I'll be done. Okay. Okay. Uh, 